Hi, welcome back to Sim Racing Fans. So uh, we are now sitting in uh, again in the Porsche Arasashi Point uh, Zero, and we are racing on the Montreal Historic Circuit. Uh, we are racing in winter conditions, so uh, it's just to show you the update version 1.2.2.0, uh, which is uh, including the winter season foliages for the Montreal circuits and the Virginia International Raceway circuits. Now we're in Montreal, we're in the uh, classic uh, version of the circuit and uh, well, it's uh, still very hard uh, to drive this uh, uh, Porsche. It's a real challenge uh, to drive this car. I, I tried out uh, a lot of setups but uh, even in these winter conditions when the tires are not getting to the temperature you like them to have, it's uh, uh, so hot to drive even on the brakes. I try to make it uh, through this lap and through the next lap, but it's uh, very hard. I think I need more time uh, to find an appropriate setup uh, for this car. So in the meantime, <laughs> I wanted to concentrate more uh, on, the, on the track. Heartbreaking here. Yeah. Uh, which is uh, designed uh, very good. Looks very, very nice again. Some a little bit of water on, on the track is uh, very nice. Uh, so sometimes you see some more or less uh, water on the road, which is uh, very good. It's not not just even wet, so, but uh, there are so many differences. So you need some. You see some wet places. You see some water and some corners. It's a uh, very, very good, I think. And uh, also look at the uh, uh, trees, which look very, very different to the standard version. Okay, in the meantime, we're getting overtaken by some cars, but no problem. Okay, he's pushing, pushing me. Oh, yeah. It's so hard to drive this car. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm sweating with this car. Even in cold conditions, you can get some cold sweat on your face driving and controlling this car. Maybe it's uh, better uh, driving this car with a direct drive wheel anyway, but uh, you need to be so careful on the throttle. I said down the sensitivity of the, the throttle uh, to to minimum so this uh, I think this helps a little bit and look at uh, a little bit snow on the left uh, I, I wanted to show you the track but I'm so concentrated on, on, on driving this car keeping this this car on the road this is, this is so difficult to see in, even in the the out lap I think that's it's really it's too hard so Maybe I would suggest that uh, there, there should be, a, let's say, not the, the standard setups are sometimes not really good, uh, which are provided for for the different cars. So it would be, be very great if there is a section where users can uh, post within the race their optimized uh, setups, so other users can copy. I know it's it's possible. Copy some setups uh, when doing your uh, uh, quick lap record times, but uh, it should be a little bit more easier because it's uh, very hidden to do this. So it is very nice to drive, very hard to drive. That's a big challenge in the morning. So let's see what they are doing in the pit lanes again. So yesterday I've seen already some strange things again. And uh, do we hit the wall? No, we do not hit the wall. And they, they're jumping in and out of the pits. What are they doing again here? It's so strange. Oh, well, okay. Let's uh, just have a quick look in the replay. 
Oh, this, this car is so nice. It's uh, <laughs> a little bit sad that it's so hard to drive with because it's so much fun. So in such a nice car, and I like it in in that uh, uh, cream livery. It looks so. It's, it's a perfect classic car. And look at uh, also at the drivers, uh, the drivers, the clothes of the drivers. It's done so well. It's done so pretty well. By Risa, look at this. Look at the helmet and uh, look at the racing suits. It's so great. Also, uh, the tracks. See the snow uh, beside tracks. It's it's so great. But please, Risa, uh, work a little bit more on the drivability of the cars. It's uh, would be so great if it's a little bit easier to drive these cars to get a little bit more comfortable uh, driving feeling. But anyway, it's looking very really great. It's a lot of fun. And uh, well, we jump into the next updated circuit. So here we go on the Virginia International Raceway. We're again in a Porsche. Again in RSR, but in the modern version. So uh, we'll just see the updated uh, track for the Virginia International Raceway. Uh, we are also racing in winter conditions in a, uh, on a nice, a sunny winter morning. And uh, it looks looks also very really great. You can still see some uh, snow beside the track. Oh well, it looks looks very good. We, okay, we get uh, hit on on the back. We get hit on the back, but uh, uh, no problem. Okay, hit again. Oh, what? This is not so nice. I think maybe they they should uh, work a little bit on the AI because sometimes uh, they hitting you. Every time you start a race, if you start in in the middle, okay, let's. Wow, hit again. I don't know what what they have done. It's uh, I think this is in in the new version. It's, it's so hard. They're hitting you anytime. You just driving on a straight. Even with a low uh, AI setup. They're just crashing into your car. You can't do anything. It's um, well, not so, not so good. I think. Okay, let's drive behind this BMW. Who crashed us? Let's just look at the track. Look at the nice uh, updated foliage here. And it's also it's it's hard to steer the cars here in these conditions because uh, as you can see the, the tires they are not really getting to uh, temperature you like to have. But it looks very nice, even with that uh, motion blur and that uh, camera view and look at the sun rays. It's uh, it's looking very really good. Looking very really nice. So to be honest, this is the third attempt. Uh, I do this video, and uh, every time they're crashing into my car unexpectedly, uh, really without no reason. But uh, just wanted to, sh to show you that uh, nice livery. The car looks so good. The track looks so good uh, with that snow beside. That's really great. It's and uh, I would be really happy uh, if they will do something about the AI. So we're now in the second lap. Look at the trees on the left and uh, the snow. Oh, the sun is looking so good here. The sun rays coming in here. Okay, let's overtake this one. Let's get behind that BMW. Great graphics, 
really. I liked it very much. With that uh, nice clear winter weather. Have some snow on the side. That's really great. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll just jump into a quick review after we make it uh, into the pits. Oh, but uh, as I said, um, I'm a little bit wondering what they have done uh, with the AI. It's uh, really it's not so much fun to drive in when when you are always uh, hit on the back by by some cars. Okay, because they drive faster than you won't be, be hit in, in the back, but uh, they shouldn't hit you uh, without uh, any reason. Okay, so let's uh, jump into uh, into the quick replay. And uh, yeah, I know there, there's a lot of discussions uh, going on about it, uh, AI. And, uh, look at this, this great car, that this GTE. Uh, it's really fun. I, I think I already done a video uh, with uh, GTE on that uh, track here in that Virginia Raceway. I liked it very much and uh, it looks so good in, in that winter conditions. I, really, I, I think I like it more than in, in regular in summer conditions or in spring conditions. Look at this, uh, there's the snow here on, on that hill, it's, it's so good. Okay going a little bit through the grass. It's a good opportunity to see the particles flying through the air. Uh, and look at this. Uh, they're crashing in, into your car. What in all is uh, great optics, great graphics, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, well, I'm happy to see your comments uh, to my video. Uh, oh, well, with this. Uh, it. I'm going to end this for today now and uh, please come back for some more racing action also with uh, other racing uh, sim apps uh, like uh, racing, racing experience, Assetto Corsa, Competizione and so on. Uh, take care, see you soon with my next video. Bye bye.